on this episode of Cox Connections. The Southside Boys and Girls Clubs give young people a safe place to learn, grow, and develop character building relationships with adults. We'll learn about their programs today. Also, the Rotary Club of Chesapeake isn't just about business, it's also about enriching our communities. We'll find out how later. And Starbase Victory is not the latest summer blockbuster, but a program to inspire students in science, technology, engineering, and math. We'll learn about it today. Stay tuned, Cox Connections is next. The centers are truly designed to be homes away from home for our service members. Our goal is to help them not just get out of homelessness, but to help them to stay out of homelessness. We leveraged $44 million in financial aid and scholarships. Boys and Girls Clubs are rallying communities so that we can ensure that our kids have a great future. Salvation Army Ray and Joan Crock Core Community Center, the phenomenal facility that will change lives. Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Emma Inman, Director of Public Affairs for Cox, Virginia. The Southside Boys and Girls Clubs are serious about enabling young people to reach their full potential as productive, caring, responsible citizens. Here to talk with us today about their life-enhancing programs is Karee Boyd, our Keystone Advisor, and Taree Miller, Office Manager for the Southside Boys and Girls Clubs. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. So, Karee, tell us a little bit about how the programs are impacting the community. Well, the Southside Boys and Girls Club has a diverse and uh, touch to the community. We encompass the Berkeley area of the Boys and Berkeley area of Norfolk, Virginia, as well as the Diggs Park and Oakleaf part of the Nor Norfolk, Virginia. Uh, we try to keep our hand up on a pulse of what's going on in the community by offering programs through our five core areas. Uh, through those core areas, we try to make sure that the kids have a safe place to go, and we want to make sure that they understand that they do have a future going forward, and we want to make sure that they understand that we're here to be able to give them a great start to their future. So among the five areas, you focus on character and leadership and education and career. Let's just talk a little bit about character and leadership. How do the clubs build character with the kids? Well, they, they try, we try to make sure that we try to reach out to some professionals sometimes in the community that can assist us on making sure that the kids understand that we want to build their character from either where they are to a certain point so they can be better productive citizens going forward. We try to make sure we reach out to people that can help them with such things as hygiene or public speaking to make sure that they understand that it's not they don't have to stay into one niche. You want to be able to let them understand that wherever they are now, we want to get them to a certain level where they can go out, be able to reach different goals, and be able to say that they are someone special and someone productive in their community. Just trying right. to broaden their horizons. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Um, your website says great future start here yes. and that is exactly what you're talking about working mm -hmm. with the kids to position them for a future. How many kids does the club serve? Uh, the kids, we serve over 1,200 kids in our, in our organization alone. So we want to make sure that those kids are very aware of some of the possibilities that they have going forward, yeah. where we bring in some military frats who can come in and help them with hygiene. We all, with hygiene, we also have a female um, sorority that comes in and also talks to the girls. So we want to make sure that they understand that when you come here, those great futures can be anything, whether it be going towards to be in the Senate, whether it be going towards to take somewhere being a mayor. Whatever you want whatever them to you be. Whatever you want to be. I mean, it, it, it just, great future start here is just so broad, but we want them to understand that we're, we're going to try to give them the opportunity through us to see those opportunities and not limit them to some small Cherie, tell us about the Keystone Club. I understand that it's a great success. Yes, um, well, our Keystone Club is one of our major uh, leadership clubs. Uh, Mr. Carey is actually uh, the advisor. Mm -hmm. um, 
to be on our Keystones, you do have to volunteer. Um, mm -hmm. We do promote um, the kids to try to give back because a lot of times in the Boys and Girls Club, we're the receivers. So we want to encourage our kids to go out and give their time, talent, and treasures as well as people give us. Um, and so Ms. Mr. Kyrie does an awesome job at thank you, um, thank heading you. that program. Um, and he has quite a few um, young men and young women who are successful that graduate this year mm -hmm. um, with a plan for their future. Some of them are going to the Navy. Some of them are going to Norfolk State, ODU. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just an awesome program, um, just giving the kids and affording them an opportunity uh, for more in life. Yeah, it's the premier, premier leadership, character and leadership program for Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Um, it's and every Boys and Girls Club they have a Keystone Club and every year we try to strive to get to our national conference which is in a major city every year. So the Keystone program is for teens? Yes, yes. teens. 14 to 18 and so it, that program it has been going around since 1963. It was started by a woman in Connecticut and we it's just a program that I've attached to. I was a part of it when I was a club kid. So it's very important and it's very dear to my heart. And it's something that will go on. And as long as they want to have me, we'll be there. <laughs> Tari, what are some of the other programs that the clubs offer? Um, well, we have our Torch Club, which is um, a step under our Keystone Club. Um, we have, we do a teen night where we do like gang prevention. Uh, where the kids come in and they do one hour of a prevention class where we talk about gangs, we talk about violence in the community, we talk about uh, options to make our community better. Mm -hmm. um, we have our sorority club, as Mr. Kyrie was talking about. Um, this year, this summer, we have flag football going on, we have cheerleading, we have our drama matters, uh, which we're talking about acting and production and all that exciting yes. stuff like that. We have quite some um, kids who just love, they're really dramatic and they mm -hmm. want to put it to the test, so that's awesome. Um, Giving them a creative avenue yes. for that. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So Kyrie, tell us, it, it sounds like um, through the programs that you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. you have some community support for the clubs, right. but are there other ways that people who are watching can get involved to, to support the clubs? Well, actually, what people can do is they can give us a call at the club, and what we can do is, what we try to do is people, if say someone wants to call in and say that we want to do this for the kids or things of that nature, what we have them do is they come in, they fill out a volunteer application, they pretty basically sit down with Ms. Miller or Mr. Shivers or a designated person and try to find out what are your specialties? What can you bring to us? What can you help us assist the kids in doing? And so what we do is we try to make sure that anyone that comes from the community can basically that, that wants to help the kids we want to make sure we go through background checks and things of that nature that can help them but we want to also see what their specialty is and be able to implement it through us through the kids now as far as what we do we try to touch the whatever the community connections around there around that Berkeley area we try to make sure we're with the the um, homeowners I mean the, not the homeowners but the um, the community involvement uh, um, leaders that, 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 that are in the community um, the uh, the new mayor just his uh, his for his business is in our in our area, so we want to make sure that we work through him as well to try to make sure that our that uh, the programs that we offer and the way we touch the community is a really impactful and that's so very important. So it sounds like there are lots of ways, including uh, United Way contributions. Correct, yes. People can write yes. checks, checks to support. Yeah. The yes, club that is one way. And to help you to do the great work that you're doing. Yes. Thank you both so much for being here Thank today to us. talk with us about the Southside boys and girls clubs and thank you so much for the great work that you're doing you. to keep our kids headed in the right direction and getting them ready for success all right thank you so much coming up a rotary club can have a significant effect on the quality of life in its community we'll hear about how the chesapeake rotary is doing this with their upcoming fundraiser stay tuned for more cox connections